welcome back to the channel. It is a standalone episode because it is a cup final. It is West Ham United versus Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup final of 2033. We're going to take you through our previous results. Then we're going to take you through both of our runs in the Carabao Cup. And then we'll get straight into the single game episode. Since you have been away, as we scroll down here. So, we played... Norwich last time out and we won 3-0 in the second leg of the Carabao Cup. We then beat Fulham 2-0. We lost 2-1 against West Ham. We beat Wolves 3-2. Drew with Leicester 2 all. Beat Burnley 1-0. Lost against Arsenal 1-0. Lost against West Ham again 2-0. So that's three times we've played them so far this season. And we've lost every single time with a aggregate score of, I believe, 9-3 now. So we are well down in terms of aggregate score. We drew 0-0 with Man City, and then we beat Brighton 4-0 in a nice little warm-up game before the cup final today. So in terms of the league table, that means we sit in sixth place. We're seven points clear of Leicester, who have a game in hand. We will catch back up this weekend when they play, and we obviously play in the cup. So we'll hopefully still be at least four points clear. We have a 12-point advantage down to Bournemouth in eighth. So unless we absolutely capitulate in this last part of the season, we should be making our first European adventure of this save. Now, before we get into the game, we're just going to go through the Carabao Cup ties as I've filtered everything out there so our Carabao Cup run has gone like this we opened with a 2-0 victory over Brentford in the second round Thomas Cozzle and Federico Prilla getting the goals there Thomas Cozzle was at the double as we beat Leeds 2-0 in the third round we then comfortably dispatched of Wolves 5-1 Hudson Enrique Thomas Cozzle Philip Baumutu and Gilles Lemire getting a late goal to make it 5-1 there in the fourth round we then had Probably the easiest tie of the quarterfinals, but we did make hard work of it with a much changed side. We beat Luton 2 1, Camilo Payas and Philip Bowman getting the goals there in the quarterfinals, and then we were drawn against Norwich in the semi finals. And we won the opening leg 2 1, Martin Neto and Nikika Raj getting the goals. I believe we went. 1-0 down in this game, we did Malejo getting the goal inside the first 20 minutes. Two goals in the second half, 62 and 73, meant that we won that game. And then the second leg, it was tight up until the final 10 minutes where we scored three goals in four minutes. Ryan Dunn at the double and one Carlos Suarez getting the third, meaning that we went through 5-1 on aggregate and we played West Ham today, who, might I add, are still top of the table, won 23 out of 28 games. They are eight points clear of Man United during second place. So this is going to be a real, real test. We're just going to have a quick look at West Ham's run to the final as well. If I do it this way, take everything out. They've had a lot of games this season and I've left Europa League in by accident. So they started off with a 4-1 victory in the Carabao Cup third round against Arsenal. They then beat Stoke 1-0 in the fourth round. Quarterfinals, they beat Chelsea 2-0, and then in the semi-finals, they got a 7-1 aggregate victory over Cardiff, 4-0 in the home leg in the first leg, and 3-1 away at Cardiff in the second leg, and that means, obviously, they play us in the final. In terms of their players, we're just going to bring it through and look at... Top goal scorer is Gustavo Pemberton. He caused us havoc on camera earlier on in this season. He has 20 goals, Brenner has 19, Jack Bassett has 12, uh, Marcus Gonzalez has 11. So there's a lot of players there scoring goals. Two players, one player on 20, the other one nearly at 20. It's going to be one hell of a tough game. We're going to go now to the tactical meeting and we're going to have a quick look at the squad. Nothing is set up for this game. We've got a number of injuries, we're struggling to put out a full 11. So, for this game, I'm not entirely sure, as I'd make an absolute meal of trying to remove Hudson Enrique from the squad. So, as it currently stands, I mean, that is probably our best lineup at the moment. McMillan on the right, Dubois at left back, Suarez and Brunig in the middle, Tulio in front. We've got Kakaret and Martin Neto. Jose Wereson is struggling with fitness. Bowman is out there on the left hand side. I suppose we could play Thomas Kozel out there on the left-hand side. Rog will start on the right, and it's just a choice between strikers. We've got Federico Perilla, who has nine goals. And Philip Bowen, who also has nine goals. The question is, which way do we go for this? I think 
I feel like I'm going to regret whichever way we decide to go, I think. I think we're going to go with Philip Bowman for this. I think that is probably, probably going to be the correct choice. But like I said, we've played West Ham three times. They've beaten us all three times. And I think, after staring at the screen for the last minute or so, I think that is going to be the lineup for this cup final at Wembley. Wadsworth in goal, Dubois, Suarez, Brunic, and McMillan. Two low in front of them. Kakaret and Neto in the centre midfield. Kozel on the left, Rog on the right, Bauman up front. On the bench, that means it's Tamarit, Jamie Brown, Camilo Pires, Ryan Dunn, Ail, Jose Werison, and Federico Perilla. Seven subs. I know we've got nine. Actually, I think we've got 12. No, nine for this. I'm not going to fill the bench up with two kids. I don't see the point. I think we've got enough diversity there in the bench that we can bring on a player. If anyone gets injured at any position, we can bring on a player. We can chop and change stuff and make sure that we aren't left short anywhere. With that being said, let's get into the game. Martin Neto is lacking match sharpness. Two changes from the last match. Neto and Carl in for Enrique and Perilla. Enrique obviously out with an injury. And here are the two lineups for this cup final. As we just said, that is our team there on the right hand side. The West Ham team is Paolo Garcia, Max Ahrens, Mateus De Ligt, Alex, Brian Charles, Gunay, Ulder, Renier, Federico Chiesa, Marcus Gonzalez, Gustavo Pemberton, and Jack Bassett. On the bench for them, Luke Southwood, Paolo Afonso, Declan Rice, Javier, Anton Clifford, Dennis McAvoy, Fabio Vieira, Fernandez, and Fabio Navarro. We are going to get into They've made six changes from their last game. Tomore dropping out, Afonso dropping out, Rice dropping out, Vieira dropping out, and Brenner dropping out. Brenner causes problems. In that game earlier in the season on camera, so we are hoping that that sits in our favour. Eric Ted Hag is the manager there. We're going to go to the dressing room and the punters might not believe in us today, but the fans do. So go and do them proud. We're going to do that with a pump of the fists, and it hasn't really done anything. So we face a tough challenge today, and quietly confident. Don't pay much attention to the odds and. The players that are playing on a bigger stage. It's clearly a big blow to lose Hudson Enrique. And that is, I mean, that's easy said. West Ham have won four of their last five with one draw. They are playing so, so well this season. As the two teams make their way out, we are in our home kit for this as well. Which means absolutely nothing. But you want to take any omen that you can get as West Ham get the early shot away and Pemberton will get this throwing note to Chiesa. Lays it back, Bauman nips in and Brunig fires it upfield. It's poor there. Considering Bauman was so deep and that's cut out again. Can Bauman win there? He can't. Every time we win the ball, we're just giving possession back. Switch ball out to the left-hand side and Dubois can get it away. Kakaret now. Back to Dubois. Into Kozel. Turns, tries to fire up the line for Bauman, but Delict can deal with it. Aarons into Chiesa, coming in field. Ball into Pemberton, who's in behind the defender. Pemberton, and it's a great save from Peter Wadsworth. First real chance of the game, and Peter Wadsworth getting down to his right-hand side there to tip it round the post. And like I said, in the build-up, this he is a really good player, Gustavo Pemberton. He was everywhere in the game earlier on, on camera. And it's showing here early on today, first 10 minutes of this game, it's been all West Ham. We are going to drop a little bit of encouragement now. See if we can get any kind of performance out of the boys. I think we just need to deal with this pressure because they did this in the game early on the season where they, they absolutely blew us away in the first hour or so. And in the last half an hour, we were probably the better team. But obviously at 4-0 down, as that ball is cut out and Dubois can look long for Kozel... And had really nothing in that. Yeah, we we got blown away in that um, game earlier on in the season in camera. And I feel like if we can just hold out going into that last half an hour, if it's still nil-nil or even if it's one-nil, I think we've got a chance. I really do. And it has been a very cagey affair. Just the two real chances. I mean, the second one wasn't much of one. And it's nil-nil at half-time. And... The, the question is now, is do we get into them because we didn't have any shots in that first half? Or do we play the noise card? The fans deserve this trophy. We've motivated a couple of them. One of the boys down there was aggressive. I didn't see who that was. As we are 10 minutes now into this second half. 
not a lot is happening. We're going to see if we can encourage again. We have done nothing here. If we get through to extra time and penalties and not have a shot on target, I am absolutely fine with that. If we win it on penalties, still nil-nil here. Absolutely dull game. It's a free kick here. It's just over 15 minutes to play plus stoppage time. Gonzalez is going to take it. Centre goal. Probably about 30 yards out. Hits it. He hits the wall. Fabio Vieira is going to collect it on the left-hand side. He's going to get the cross in. De Ligt gets up and he hits the bar. And that was a fantastic header from Matthias De Ligt. And he probably should have made the keeper work there. And he didn't. And it remains nil-nil. And again, we're 10 minutes away from full time. And we're going to make a couple of subs. I'm just looking who we got some players really turning in poor performances. Paez, who got two goals against West Ham earlier on the season, and Ryan Dunn, who got two goals in the semi final, are both going to make their appearances. It's Fabio Vieira looks in. Alex smashes it in. There's a hint of offside there, I've got to be honest. Flag didn't go up. Referee is going to check that. My initial thought was that there was a hint of offside. No, there's not. It's going to count, I think. Hasn't come up down any notable events yet. Oh, there's a man offside, but it's Charles. Alex was onside. It is going to count. It's 1 0. As we go into the final five minutes of the game, and it is going to look like it's going to be a defeat here. And again, we haven't turned in a performance. Really, it's Ayo. Looks like Longboard in. Headed away. He's going to be able to get the cross in on his right foot. Lays into Kakra. Ayo gets it back. Tulio. Ah, oh, it's a poor ball. There's a minute left, and we need. To make better use of our possession than that. We haven't had a lot of possession. We haven't had a lot of chances. So when we do get around the edge of their box. We need to be better than that too though. though. Into Neto. Dubois looks for Dunn. Headed down to Bowen. Into Pires. Who's in behind. Oh Camilo Pires. One chance. And we miss it. <laughs> and it looks as if. We are going to lose the Carabao Cup final. That's the second Cup final we've got to in this save. And it's the second one we're going to lose. We lost that um, FA Trophy Cup final back with Stockport a few seasons ago. And we lose in the Carabao Cup final. West Ham United, who were a dominant force this season, beat us by one goal to nil. Ah, oh, that is so disappointing. But we knew, we knew it was going to be tough. And it has proven just that way today as West Ham... Lift the Carabao Cup in 2033. We've gave ourselves a good showing of ourselves in this season's Carabao Cup. But we just couldn't get over the final hurdle. 1-0 defeat. Alex with the goal from the free kick. Players are motivated with the team talk. And I've got to be honest. It's it's kind of... It's very disappointing. We're going to send the assistant to deal with that. 83rd minute goal. And... In the next episode, we are going to come back for some more league action. We're going to play through the month of March. We're going to come back in April. We're going to show you the games against Everton, Brentford and Bournemouth. And then we'll come back for the last two games of the season against Chelsea and against Newcastle United. As we look now to secure European football through league football. We're six. Like I said, we got four points on Leicester who have played the same amount of games as us. We've got 11 points on Newcastle who are down in eighth. We are in a really good position here to make European football. Whether it's Conference League, it doesn't matter at this point. I'd love to make the Europa League. I mean, there's still an outside shot here with four points behind Liverpool. There's still an outside shot we could make the Champions League. But I felt like we'd be severely outclassed if we make the Champions League. But we're going to keep playing through. Like I said, we're going to come back in the month of April for a triple header. Those games, like I just said, are going to be the games against Everton, Brentford and Bournemouth. If you've enjoyed what you've seen on today's video, please leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.